Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the new Raft mod. How amazing is this? There's one there. I see there's, there's one that's kind of sailing off into the distance. So the Raft mod, what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description down below to the Steam page. It gives you the uh, instructions on how to craft it and how to install it as well. So I always recommend you use those. But basically, the Raft mod gives us this amazing ability to be able to construct this beauty and then sail across the sea. Um, yeah, absolutely fantastic, absolutely fantastic. So, uh, yeah, as I say, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install it on your local server, and then we're gonna show you, hopefully, how to install it on your remote server as well. So, as with most things, Daisy, when it comes to modding, the first thing you wanna do is you want to open up um, uh, the Steam uh, client, um, and you want to subscribe to uh, the Raft mod. Now, it also needs CF. You've probably already got CF, but make sure you're subscribed to both. And have a good read of the instructions first. That's, that's very, very important because um, although these instructions are correct at the time of me writing this video, they may well change. Um, and it's also a good idea because it, gives you, it tells you how to use the mod as well. So what we'll do, let me um, let me just close down my local server so that it doesn't, um, it's not using up too many resources as I record this video. So the first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to copy the raft mod from your uh, Daisy um, folder to uh, to your server folder, and so. What you need to do is you need to find where Daisy is on your computer, and it will probably be on somewhere like C, Program Files, x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, um, or the other way you can find it is if you go into Mods. Right, let's just uh, close this down first, like this. You were kicked from the game. Are you sure, you want to exit? Yes, please. Right, so this is going to appear in a second. If you go into, go into the mod screen in the launcher and then click on the little arrow there, click on those three little dots there, um, open folder in Windows Explorer, and it'll say, look, don't bugger around with anything. You say, yeah, I understand. That will then take you to your workshop folder. Now, when you look in here, if you can't see the Raft mod, what you want to do is you want to fire up Daisy again, um, the Daisy launcher, and then it will download the mod. So the first thing is to take, uh, where are we, Raft we're looking for, aren't we? So you take the Raft mod and you would copy that. And then, normally it's probably in the same place, but go up a couple of levels and find your Daisy server. Go into there and then all your mods are just here. So you would just right click, paste. And as you can see down here, I've already got the Raft mod. There it is. Now, next thing we need to do is we need to take the key. So you copy that and then we need to put that in the keys folder of our server. So you would right click and you would paste that. So they both know that they're using using the mod. And the next thing we need to do is we need to add the, the bits of the uh, the the, the, fault, the uh, raft into our types.xml. So we go into the raft mod again, you'll see uh, it says types. Open this up with your favorite text editor. So here they are. And you'll see it says type raft rudder. So you just wanna copy everything inside the types. Don't Don't copy that bit or the bit at the top. And then you want to go into your types file on your server. Here they are, and you'll want to, you'll want to paste that in. Now I've just put in a little um, note at the top saying, rafty types at the top, and end raft types underneath, um, just like that. And then you want to save that. The next file we then want to open up in our server is we want to open up the um, batch file that starts our server. You must already have a these have one of these if you've got a running server. My one's called Start Zombie Admin, so you just edit that with your favorite text editor. And you're looking for the start line here. And then you're looking for the mod line here. Okay, so within these um, uh, inverted commas, within these quotation marks, you say mod, that, that these are the mods that the server starts with. So we've got CF, Zombie Admin Tools, and there I've added in Raft. So it's semicolon at raft. And that means that when the server starts, it knows to start it with the raft mod. So it loads in the correct um, PBOs. And that's it. That's all you've got to do. And then just make sure you look at that Steam page so that you know um, what the instructions are for crafting the raft or spawning it in if you're spawning it in with Zombra if you just want to play around with it. 
um, restart your server and you'll be good to go. Now, all these steps are very, very simple when we want to actually install it on our server. So let's, um, let's close all these things down. So what you want to do is you want to open up your FTP program that you use to install stuff onto your server. In fact, let's just... Um, let's just... Uh, right, so you would go File, Site, for example, here, and we want to connect to my uh, Namalk server. And so what you see here on the right hand side is that this is that this is the server here all this sort of stuff so this is everything that's on the server now just in the same way that we copied the raft add-on from the daisy file uh, daisy workshop folder to our local server we're going to do the same thing to our remote server so again you just need to find where the daisy um, folder is on your computer again you can use the launcher to do this and then we want to go into the workshop folder so as you can see, we've got all our mods here. And it's just a simple case of making sure that we, we click on Daisy Standalone there, click on Raft, right click and upload. And it'll probably give you a warning saying, um, are you sure you want to do this? And you, you just say yes. So that then uploads everything to your server. The next thing we need to do is we then need to go into the keys. So we click on the keys here, there's, there's that key. And then we need to find the keys folder on our server, which is on the right here. So we just double click into there and then we just right click upload and that would then upload that across to there so that's done that way so now we've got the the, the um the add-on is on the server the key is on the server but we need to make sure we remember to tell the server to start with that so this is there where there when we go to the the web interface for our particular server so go to your, your provider go to the web interface and depending on your server, I'm using Nitrado as an example here. As you can see, uh, this is the um, uh, this is the kind of the startup file for the um, for the server. And so we say additional mods, and then we add at raft. So semicolon at raft. So it knows to start with that mod there. Um, on other servers, you may well have um, access to the, um, the this particular. Um, uh, a folder it's, it's no uh, this particular file it's normally the um it's not it would be the batch file that starts your particular um server so again you, you'll pro you'll know this already where the, that particular line is but on nitrido it's there so it's at raft however what we've still got to do is we need to make sure we add those types in so again this is where you would go to the file browser um so let's go back to the beginning again we're on nitrido and so we would go into the missions folder And then where this is in the mouse folder, so we go into the mask, we go into the DB folder, we go into types. Now this is quite, a, I don't always recommend you edit this online as it's quite a big file, but you'll see it will pop up in a second. And it loads up, dum -de -dum -de -dum, there it is. And as you can see, in fact, let's, can we make this a bit bigger? There we go. So as you can see, I've already added mine in. So Rafty types. So you would go to that um, the types file that you'd opened up earlier on. There it is, and you would just take all those, right click, copy those, and you would paste that at the top of your types on your on your server. Again, I've put a little note at the top. Um, you know, uh, left um, arrow bracket exclamation mark dash dash Raft types dash dash right arrow bracket that is a comment um, so the, the game doesn't actually read that just it's just there for for for, for reference um, and then once you've done that you just save the changes restart the server make sure everybody on your server understands that they now should have the raft mod uh, subscribe to that in the workshop and also tell them the instructions on how they create rafts and that's it they will be sailing away maybe having some you know, Greek type, like ancient Greek type battles between their rafts, or maybe just um, sailing one round the local lake in the middle of nowhere. Anyway, there we go. Hopefully, you found that useful. If you have, hit like if you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Please put your questions about installing various mods and DCD stuff um, down below as well. Um, and I'll see you all again soon.